Hello, hello, Alex aqui. Então, antes de começar esse episódio, eu quero dar algumas atualizações sobre o inglês de Necru. Em 2020, nós vamos ter 12 challenges diferentes, ou seja, é um novo produto completamente diferente para vocês. A cada mês, a gente vai ter um challenge diferente um do outro, claro. Então, por exemplo, nós teremos challenges sobre como melhorar o seu vocabulário, como fazer good first impressions, como ter o inglês melhor e mais natural possível durante conversas com nativos de inglês. Eu estou muito animada e quero muito, muito, muito que você participe. Então, se você gosta de nós, se você gosta do nosso trabalho, se você gosta aqui do Inglês de Micro Rádio e quer ficar de uma vez por todas sério com o seu inglês, começando agora em 2020, vá lá no nosso site, inglêsdenicru.com. Now, on with the show! Oi, pessoal, tudo bem? Bom, muito obrigada por estar aqui escutando de novo a gente no Inglês de Necro Rádio. E eu vou passar aquele recadinho maravilhoso, mas hoje é diferente. Hoje eu quero falar com vocês sobre o Cambly Kids. O Cambly Kids existe e tá aí para qualquer criança de até 15 anos de idade poder fazer aulas de inglês online com professor nativo da língua inglesa. É muito bacana porque funciona que nem o Cambly adultos, mas para crianças com toda a segurança do mundo. E para você ter uma aula experimental de 30 minutos lá no Cambly Kids, por apenas um real, é só colocar o código inglês NC Kids. Então o código é inglês NC Kids. É muito fácil. Só lembrar de inglês no Cru Kids. Inglês NC Kids. É só fazer o login lá no Cambly e em minutos grátis inserir esse código que eu acabei de falar. Também, se você quiser, é só ir na nossa show notes, que é aqui na descrição do episódio, e clicar no link que eu vou deixar lá para vocês, tá? Qualquer dúvida que vocês tenham, qualquer coisa, é só entrar em contato direto com o Cambly, que eles vão poder te falar direitinho como é que funciona o Cambly Kids, tirar todas as dúvidas em relação à segurança, e também, qualquer coisa, é só falar com a gente, tá bom? Now, on with the show! Oi, fala aí pessoal, bom dia. Você está escutando o inglês do inglês do inglês do rádio. I am your host, Foster Hodge. This is your daily dose of English. Foster. How are you doing? I'm fine. And you? I am doing very well. Thank you. <laughs> so today we are talking about one of the great American cities in the South, one of the great Southern cities, which is... Nashville. Nashville, Tennessee. Nashville. <laughs> so do you think most Brazilians have, have heard of Nashville? Well, I don't think so, but I have a lot of friends that... They really, really want to come to Nashville one time. Maybe one time. Oh, my God. Good start. Getting off to a good start on the English front. You had to cut this. Not <laughs> cutting it. Keep it in there. So you can say a lot of my friends want to visit there one day. One day. What I was thinking about. What was I thinking about? What was I thinking about? It is... Um, 9.30 p.m., Alexia, <laughs> her sleep schedule is about the same as like an 85-year-old <laughs> lady, so her English Or gets a Or a five-years-old boy. A five-year-old boy. Yeah. See, I'm not good to record right now. Whew. Nashville. <laughs> <laughs> so, we went to Nashville because we have friends living there. Yes. Yes. Why Nashville is so important for Americans? Was that a question? Yes. Why is Nashville? Uh-huh. Okay. Why is Nashville so important for Americans? Uh, it's Music City. Okay. Can you tell me about it a little bit more? Yeah. So Nashville is most famous for its music. 
um, its nickname for what people colloquially call Nashville is the Music City. And that's because a lot of the most classical, when you think of American music, like country music, bluegrass, um, like Elvis was from Tennessee, anything when you think about the really country, like soul music of America, probably has its roots in Nashville. Yes, and it's a very fun city. Once you are walking downtown during the day, the night, during the morning, 24 hours per day, there are bars opened with uh, bands playing, non-stop bands playing. Yeah. Do you know another good phrase for when something is happening all the time? 24-7. 24-7. Yes. All day, every day. <laughs> um. So... Have you ever been to Nashville besides this time that we went? Yeah, you asking me? Yes. Yeah, I've been to Nashville a lot. So I, my university actually is about uh, maybe an hour and a half by car to Nashville. So when I was studying in university, I visited Nashville quite often. I've probably been there 15, 20 times. To do what during university? To have fun. See music. Mm-hmm. Hanging out with my friends. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I went to a weird university on top of a mountain. There's not much to do. We will talk about that in another episode. <laughs> right now, Nashville. Alexia, I know that you and your father watch a series on Netflix that is called Nashville. And yes. I think most of your... um. I don't want to say stereotypes, but your preconceived notions, the preconceptions that you had before Nashville came from this show. More or less. I mean, it was a very romantic show. I mean, the actors and the actresses, they were really non-real, if I can say this. Really non-real. Yeah. Nossa. Metaphysica. <laughs> really non-real. Caraca. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what were you expecting, or how did your expectations uh, meet the reality in Nashville? Well, when we went to Nashville, I was thinking, like, they have huge, huge houses during uh, all the seasons from Nashville. And I was hoping to see that really mentions from... United States, that you know that <laughs> all the rich people live there. Is that what you think about the United States? Wait, wait. <laughs> okay, I'm waiting. All the people from Nashville, the Siri, they were really rich. And <clears throat> they <clears throat> all, what? Alexia, all of my Brazilian students say this. And it's one of my pet peeves. It's one of the things that drives me insane. Huh? Series. Series. You said Siri. I'm sorry. Yeah. It's okay. I forgive you. I'm not judging you. No, you don't forgive me. But if you say Siri, we understand Siri like the lady, the voice that you hear on your iPhone. <laughs> Siri. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm 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 lost here. Let I have to start it again. So when I was watching Nashville for the first time, I was really amazed because Every 10 minutes, people started to sing and to go to the Ryman and present concerts and everything else. And I was wondering if every corner of the city we would watch or see people playing and it was, if it was a natural, um, how can I say, a natural thing from Nashville. And yes, it is. Are you talking about the prevalence of music? In yes. Music City? Yes. So, okay. this is true. Yeah. So, a couple of things here. First, Alexia had the preconception that there are a lot of mansions in Nashville, maybe in America in general, and that is definitely true. A lot of big houses in Nashville, right? Huge mansions. Yeah. Beautiful old mansions. Some new mansions. Nashville's got a lot of money. Everyone thinks that... All the money in the U.S. is in New York, California. 
Nashville's got some money too. Uh, the South has a old money. South has that old dirty money. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Why. No one's given on, given us that money. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> and yes, sounds cool. <laughs> <laughs> all over the city, you can see that very, very nice houses and mansions and everything else. And at the same time, when we went to a neighborhood called the the Gulch, Gulch, the Gulch, the Gulch. Yeah. So I wanted to comment on this earlier. When you say Nashville. Can you say that for me one time? Nashville. Yeah. So a couple of times when Alexi is speaking fast, I, I don't hear the final L sound. So in English, in linguistics, we, at least I refer to this as the dark L. And it's that really elongated, exaggerated sound when we say Nashville, ill, where your tongue almost touches the back of your teeth and then retreats. Back. It's very hard to explain in audio because I'm making a lot of motions with my hand. But sometimes I hear Nashville, like, it's view, Nashville. And so just try to exaggerate a little bit and smile when you say it. It helps. Nashville. Excellent. <laughs> so there's a cool neighborhood in Nashville called the Gulch. I think it's a new neighborhood, right? It looks sure like, it. like it. Yeah. And it's full of new, very, very beautiful and new apartments all around. And it looks like where the young people with money lives. It's where the cool kids hang out. Maybe. Where the young people live. Because in English, live I'm people. I'm making so many mistakes tonight. It's okay. It's okay. And you were complaining this morning that I was, I was really good with my English. That's the thing about... Hey, guys, so we're just going to finish on a positive motivational note. <laughs> and when you're learning any language or learning any new skill that is really worth learning, you have good days and bad days, right? You have on days and off days. Would you agree with that with your English? Yes, I do. Acontece comigo sempre com o meu português que eu tenho dias que não consigo falar português. Mas é o que eu tava falando no começo do episódio. Tem dias que eu acordo e eu não consigo falar um bom dia direito. É. Todo mundo me pergunta, tipo, como, como é que você aprendeu português? E o dia depois eu acordo e eu não falo português. Porra nenhuma, né? Language, Foster. <risos> <risos> Mas bem rapidinho. É, I was really, really sick. Here, one year ago, more or less, I got really sick. And during all the sickness, if I can say, two hours of sickness, I was only speaking English with you. Do you remember that? Mm -hmm. And the other day when I was trying to get better and everything else, I was so proud of me because... <laughs> I was so proud of myself. Of myself because I wasn't making... So many, many mistakes. And yeah. Um, yeah, Alexia got sick one time in the U.S. and her English was okay. That is a good story. I'm not sure how it relates to Nashville, but... Wait, it's not related to Nashville. It's related <laughs> to... Um, uh, you are so mean with me. <laughs> okay, Zhengqi, uh, we are going to have an episode all about Americana music, the Grand Old Opry, and a lot more on Nashville to come. But until then... Final words, Alexia? Why are you so mean with me? Why am I so mean to you? <laughs> See? <laughs> okay. I'm going to say mama. goodbye. Because today Beijo, is not mama. a good day. <laughs> Muito obrigada por ter escutado mais um episódio aqui do nosso Inglês de Micro Rádio. Vocês sabem que nós fazemos o possível e o impossível para deixar o inglês mais pertinho de vocês, né? E é um prazer imenso que a gente possa estar acompanhando vocês no dia a dia, na rotina e fazer parte da hora do, da cozinha, de faxina, tomar banho, dirigir, o que for. Então eu queria aqui deixar bem claro que se você entrar lá no nosso site inglesnicru.com você vai poder ver um pouco mais do que a gente oferece de produtos além aqui do nosso podcast querido que a gente ama de paixão então vão lá, vão no nosso site né? aquela força pra gente procurem saber mais o que, que a gente está fazendo e é aquilo né galera 
cada mês nós temos um challenge novo. Então, eu acho que é a hora de aproveitar. Então é isso. Um beijo grande e a gente se vê no próximo episódio. Bye!